My name is Leslie Boyd. This is my son, Michael, who was born on my birthday in 1974. He had a birth defect. Now, we knew this was a possibility, and I had been advised to have an abortion, and I said no. So, he was born with a birth defect that made him uninsurable. And without insurance, this birth defect left him very vulnerable to colon cancer. And sure enough, because he couldn't have the colonoscopies he needed every year, he got cancer. And he went to the emergency room three times and left with the wrong diagnosis, the wrong medication, and a bill each time. And he got sicker and sicker. And finally, when he was literally hours from death, they, they took him into the hospital. To get Medicaid, he had to leave his wife. It took 37 months for his Social Security disability to be approved. He was dead nine days before his first check came. This is how we treat people in America. When he died on April 1st, 2008, an American was dying once every 12 minutes from lack of health care. And yet the people who want to take away the very law that would have saved his life call themselves pro-life. We need to call them out on that every time they say it. Every single time they say it. We need to say, no, you are not. Because if your support for life ends at the end of the birth canal, you are not pro-life. Amen. Now let me tell you, nine years ago last Saturday, I got the call that the cancer was back and he didn't have long to live. I relive these six weeks every year. Today, we were sitting in a doctor's office hoping there was something they could do to get more nutrition into him because he was starving to death because of the cancer. And he said to me, Mom, I guess whatever I was put here to do, it's done. And I said, oh God, I hope not. But there was nothing they could do. And we tried chemo, and he had two, key, two, three chemo treatments and continued to lose weight. And they said to him, three weeks from today, nine years ago, they said to him, there's nothing more we can do. You don't have long. You're a good person and you don't deserve this. And I brought him home to die. And as we were going out to the car, he said to me, hey mom, what do you think I have, two weeks? And I said, God, I hope it's longer than that. It was two weeks to the day. He died on April Fool's Day. He was an amazing practical joker. And when his best friend eulogized him as, my God, he was such a jackass. The entire church erupted in applause, because he was. He was also a volunteer for his local 12-step group, and he carried that group's hotline telephone until about two weeks before he died. On his deathbed, people were calling him, and he was helping them to, to stay sober. This is who he was. He did not die from cancer. He did not die from cancer. He died from criminal neglect. Yes. My child was murdered, as were the 45,000 people who died the same way he died in 2008. This is what they want to take us back to. We must not let them. They will take us back to that over my dead body. You killed my child, you will not kill more people. We need Medicaid expansion. And failing that, we need to just go with a single payer system like the whole rest of the world. No more denial. No more death. No more murder. Let's, let's come into the 21st century, America. Let's do this, okay? Yes, Thank you. Yes.